I saw my mother raise a man from the dead. It still didn't help him much, my love, she told me. But I saw her do it all the same. That's how I knew she was magic. The time I saw Mama raise a man from the dead, it was close to dusk. Mama and her nurse, Lenore, were in her office. Mama with her little greasy glasses on the tip of her nose, balancing the books, and Lenore banking the fire. That was the rule in Mama's office. The fire was kept burning from dawn till after dinner and we never let it go out completely. Even on the hottest days, when my linen collar stuck to the back of my neck and the belly of Lenore's apron was stained with sweat, a mess of logs and twigs was lit up down there, waiting. When the dead man came, it was spring. I was playing on the stoop. I'd broken a stick off the mulberry bush, so young it had resisted the pull of my fist. I'd had to work for it. Once I'd wrenched it off, I stripped the bark and rubbed the wet wood underneath on the flagstone, pressing the green into rock. I heard a rumbling come close and looked up and I could see down the road a mule plodding slow and steady with a covered wagon, a ribbon of dust trailing behind it. In those days, the road to our house was narrow and only just cut through the brush. Our house was set back. Grandfather, my mother's father, had made his money raising pigs and kept the house and pens away from everyone else to protect his neighbors, and his reputation from the undermining smell of swine. No one respects a man, no matter how rich and distinguished looking, who stinks of pig scat. The house was set up on a rise, so we could always see who was coming. Usually, it was Mama's patience, walking or limping or running to her office. Wagons were rare. When it first turned onto our road, the cart was moving slowly. But once it passed the bowed-over walnut tree, the woman at the seat snapped her whip, and the mule began to move a little faster until it was upon us. 